I have never received any pension since I left office eight years ago as a governor. Who do you think is speaking here? Let's do some puzzle. Which governor can say this, boast about it, that he left office and since eight years, he didn't collect any pension? Because before they leave, they always arrange a very generous pension package for themselves. Two new cars every year. 100 million naira. A service for medical, for governor, wife, children, relations, PAs, everything. Their pensions runs into hundreds of millions every year. But there is one person, one governor, who has never collected that pension since he left the office eight years ago. Before we reveal the person, and we guess you know already, we just want to remind you to like this, share this video, and then subscribe to our channel, especially our new ones. So it was the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. P2B, of course, who said he has never received any pension. Since he left office as the governor of Anambra State eight years ago. Bravo! He made the disclosure while speaking at a function in uh, Omaha, in Abia State Capital. He says, since I left office eight years ago, I've never received any pension. Anambra State has never bought me any pure water. Wow. Because governor should not have any retirement package. That's his position. You see why the youths are in love with this man. You came to serve the people. When you finish, you should go home. God has blessed you enough. Whatever power God has given you, it's by grace. Don't abuse the grace of God. We must stop abusing God's grace in this country and use public funds to serve the people. Obi also said that as he was exiting office, he invited the chief executive of state banks where he had warehouse state funds for the next administration and publicly handed them over to his successor. I mean, the records are there and that's why he always said, go and verify. Go and verify. And he tells you where he left the money. He gives you the name of the bank, the account number, the exact amount. And uh, those bankers publicly confirmed it. Nobody asked him to save money, but it is public fund, not my own. I needed to use it to work for the people. Obi said Nigeria must transition from a consuming nation to a producing nation if he wanted to survive. Because Nigeria has a very huge land mass. He keeps saying this about 923,000 square kilometers and a population of 200 million people. God bless us with everything, but we have over 100 million people living in poverty. Absurd, abnormal, very unfortunate. Last year, Nigeria's total export, including oil, was less than $30 billion. But Vietnam has 331,000 square kilometers of land with a population of 100 million people. And their total export was $312 billion. Yet, they have no oil. The export is manufactured goods. So you can see where OB is coming from, that we have to transition from consuming to manufacturing. That is the key to development, Vietnam and all those countries he has been naming. Well, he's really a very special breed. Some governments, state governments are busy. If you hear the pension that they give to ex governors, you will be shocked to your bone marrow. But this is a man who said, I have enough. I can take care of myself. I don't want any pension. I came to serve the people, not to go and live off the people, even when I have finished serving, and they will pay me pension for life. How many governors in Nigeria can come out and say this? I can't, I don't remember anyone 
I can I mean I cannot imagine who they are busy building very good send off and pension packages for themselves but P2B is different I just hope that Nigerians will listen to this man and do what is right that's where we bring this one to an end and we uh, ask you please just like this video share it among your friends and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in our next video